Okay, so we're given a reaction in which magnesium dissolves in an acid, producing magnesium ions in H2. And we're asked to find the pH if we know the concentration of the magnesium ion and we know the pressure of the hydrogen. We're also given E of the cell and we're also given E0 of the cell. So we know here that magnesium is going to magnesium ion plus two electrons. So this is magnesium is being oxidized. So this is going to be what's going on at the anode. And then hydrogen is going to gain two electrons and produce hydrogen gas. It's being reduced. Reduction happens at the cathode. We would look up the half cell potentials and calculate E0 of our cell. It's already been given to us as 2.363. Uh, but this would be E cell is going to be um, E0 of my cathode minus E0 of my anode. So it's already been given. I just wanted to show you uh, as a review how to calculate that. Okay, so uh, in this case though, E cell is not the same as E not of the cell. E cell is going to be different uh, as, it, as we can see up here, they're different. And we're, that's because the pH, or the hydro, I should say the hydrogen concentration is not one molar. If the concentration of hydrogen ions were one molar, then E0 cell would equal E of the cell. Okay, so let's go through and figure out how to calculate the E cell. As we take the original E0 of the cell, which we calculate by cathode minus anode, and we have a, a little um, correction factor, which is 0 0.0592 over N times the log of Q. And this is called the Nernst equation. It's very useful. So um, in this case, Q we would find very similar to the way we find our equilibrium constant. Q is going to be uh, any products over reactants. So magnesium ion, it says is 1.0 molar. We're going to just put that here. And then we have H2, but that's a gas, so we would put one, we would put H2 and we would put the pressure of H2. And then on the bottom, the only species in solution is hydrogen. Um, you can see that this is a 2 as the coefficient, so we're going to put a 2 there, and that's going to square it. So that's where that 2 comes from. Okay, so this is equal to. Uh, 1.00 molar, that's, that's the magnesium ion, times 1 atmosphere, and we're solving for the hydrogen ion concentration, and then that's what we're going to find, use to find the pH. Okay, uh, N in this case is going to be 2. We're going to have 2 electrons transferred. So let's go ahead and plug this in. E of the cell is given as 2.099 volts, and that is equal to 2.363 volts. Again, that's given up here. Minus 0 0.0592 over 2 times the log of 1 over the hydrogen ion concentration, and that's what we're solving for. Okay, so if we um, 
arrange our equation, we get 8.92 equals the log of 1 over the concentration of hydrogen squared. I got that by subtracting um, 2.363 from 2.99 and then dividing by this factor uh, in negative and I get 8.92. All right, so then when we take the inverse log, we get of both sides, we get 8.297 times 10 to the 8th. So I'm taking that as my inverse log, and that's going to equal 1 over hydrogen. So again, 10 to the 8.92 power equals 8.297 times 10 to the 8th. And then I do the same for the right side to get rid of that log. Okay, so then hydrogen squared is equal, again, to my reciprocal, which is going to be 1.21 times 10 to the minus 9th. Take the square root of both sides, and I get 3.47 times 10 to the minus fifth equals the concentration of hydrogen ions. Then I take the negative log of hydrogen ion, and I get 4.46, and that's going to equal the pH.